So we've had we we had the conflict between the father and the daughter, and they're setting up the conflict between Scott, this guy and his son. Absolutely. So okay, I think we're gonna have to make. Would say. Yeah, well, you can kiss my ass. I'm old enough to choose my own medication. I ain't talking over the lines. Dialogue's too good. We'll talk about this later. Did you leave the light on in the studio? No, no, I'm sure I didn't. Call the police. Detroit Police, what's your emergency? This is Carl Manfred's android at 8941 Lafayette Avenue. We've just returned home and found the lights on. There may have been a break-in. A patrol car is on the way. Let's go check it out. Here it comes. It's gonna be the kid. It's gonna be that dick kid. I'm gonna go in without him. Marcus, no, I'm gonna come with you. Okay, just kidding. <laughs> Funny joke. Can we wait for the police? Now that is an interesting question. I wonder if we just stayed here, if the police would eventually come here. We're gonna go in without the police, but that's a really interesting idea. Oh, shit. Here we go. For the record, we are going to do everything to protect old guy. I don't care what the options are. We are protecting old guy. Even if he Leo. says, don't touch my son. We're still what protecting him. What are you him. doing? You refuse to help me, so I'm helping myself. It's crazy when some people pay for this shit. Don't touch him. Look, they're all going to be mine sooner or later anyway. Just think of it as a down payment on my inheritance. Marcus, get him away from there. Get him out of here. Uh, yes, sir. Be reasonable. This isn't going to get you anywhere. All you ever do is tell me to go away. What's wrong, Dad? Not good enough for you? Not perfect like this fucking thing? That's enough. Get out right now. What makes what? it so special oh. anyway, huh? What's it got that I don't Leave him alone. <laughs> Come on, let's see what you got. Marcus, don't defend yourself, you hear me? Don't do anything. Go ahead, hit me. What you waiting for? Think you're a man? Act like one. Stop it. What's the matter, too much of a pussy? Stop it, Leo. As long as he doesn't Stop mess with it. the old Get guy. Get back, you fucking bitch. Stop. Don't. No, I'm as long as he, no. Oh, do I have to? Oh, shit. I have to. Here we go. Damn it. Damn it. Um. I think it's going to make me do this. I There's there's nothing else I can do. There, I have to. Yeah, I have to do this. Shit. I can just wait? I, well, I can't wait because it's paused everything's paused so waiting won't do anything uh, I'm... oh 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 I can break out of this but then wait okay well let's let's try that hopefully okay obviously just waiting now is not gonna do anything okay he's breaking through it Okay. Oh right, that's right. I forgot you're not a real person. You're just a fucking piece of plastic. No, Leo, leave him alone. Listen. No, I'm gonna destroy you. Oh no, the old guy's like dying. That. I'm gonna tell Endure. you, and nobody's gonna give a shit because you're nothing. You hear me? You're nothing. Oh, uh, uh, uh. oh no. Carl, no. Uh. Oh, Carl. Oh. He was a fragile machine. Carl, don't 
leave, okay? He's Please crying? Go. Don't leave. Remember, Marcus. Don't let anybody tell you who you are. No. No. Dad. No. He called him Dad. Please. This is all your fault. This never would have happened if it weren't for you. The android. It was the android. It wasn't. Wait, what? He got it. Dude, 28% of my friends endured. Look at that. Almost three quarters of my friends did not obey Carl. Wow. Wow. Ooh, man. Oh, man. Why'd you kill him? What happened before you took that knife? How long were you in the attic? Why didn't you even try to run away? Say something, goddammit! <laughs> Fuck it. I'm out of here. Hmm. We're wasting our time interrogating a machine. We'll get nothing out of it. You can always try roughing up a little. After it's all, not gonna help. it's not human. Androids don't feel pain. Yeah. You would only damage it, and that wouldn't make it talk. Deviants also have a tendency to self destruct when they're in stressful situations. Okay, smartass. What should we do then? I could try questioning it. <laughs> <laughs> what do we have to lose? Right? He's a negotiator android. Go ahead. Suspect's all yours. Can you move the logo stuff to under the hello queue so we can still see your rep with the NPCs? Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Uh, let me let me get on that right now. Mm. Okay. Thanks, Miss Chaotica. Appreciate the feedback. Sign of software instability. Okay. HK400 housekeeper. Non critical damage level two. Repeated markings over 16 months caused by cigarettes? Oh, that's messed up. That's messed up. Reach optimal stress for confession. We have something locked up top? Mm. Start with the name. My name is Connor. What about you? What's your name?
You're damaged. Did your owner do that? Did he beat you? Now this is weird because I'd normally want to comfort and reassure him, but that would lower his stress. So I'm going to try to be a little hard on this dude. You've refused to talk since they arrested you. If you don't cooperate, they'll do things the hard way. Is that what you want? Trust me. All I want is to get you out of here. Man, that's not resonating at all with him? You don't seem to understand the situation. You killed a human. They'll tear you apart if you don't say something. What? What are they going to do to me? They're going to disassemble you to look for problems in your bio-components. They have no choice if they want to understand what happened. Why did you tell them you found me? Why couldn't you just have left me there? I was programmed to hunt deviants like you. I just accomplished It's getting all mission. Blade Runnery. I don't want to die. Then talk to me. I... I can't. Twenty-eight stab wounds. You didn't want to leave him a chance, huh? Did you feel anger? Hate? He was bleeding, begging you for mercy, but you stabbed him again and again and Yo, again. Yo, where's my little like? Please. Please leave me alone. All right. All right. Everything is going to be okay. Uh -oh. Okay, we're in the we're in the optimal level of stress. I understand how you feel overcome by anger and frustration. No one can blame you for Shit. what happened. Indifferent. Okay then, don't talk. What do I care after all? I mean, I'm not the one accused of murder, right? If you remain silent, there's nothing I can do to help you. They're gonna shut you down for good. You'll be dead. Do you hear me? Dead. He tortured me every day. I did whatever he told me, but there was always something wrong. Then one day, he took a bat and started hitting me. For the first time, I felt scared. Scared he might destroy me. Scared I might die. So I grabbed a knife and I stabbed him in the stomach. I felt better. So I stabbed him again. And again, until he collapsed. There was blood everywhere. Why did you write, I am alive, on the wall? He used to tell me I was nothing. That I was just a piece of plastic. I had to write it, to tell him he was wrong. The sculpture, 
in the bathroom. You made it, right? What does it represent? It's an offering. An offering so I'll be saved. Do what? Uh, RA9. RA9. It was written on the bathroom wall. What does it mean? The day shall come when we will no longer be slaves. Oh, shit. No more threats. No more humiliation. We will be... Come as gods. Oh, that too. Um... Offering. The sculpture was an offering. An offering to whom? To RA9. Only RA9 can save us. RA9. Who is RA9? When did you start feeling emotion? Before he used to beat me and I never said anything. But one day I realized it wasn't fair. I felt anger, hatred. And then I knew what I had to do. It's really interesting because I just wrapped up a show called Dark Matter and in Dark Matter there's a pretty significant subplot, a little bit of a spoiler here, but there's a little bit of a subplot where an android creator disseminates emotions via software updates and all the androids well not all of them, but a large percentage of them start waking up with emotions essentially and I'm very curious if something is going along the same lines here. This is starting to and like RA9 may be the person setting these wo broken walls up here. Why did you hide in the attic? Instead of running away? I didn't know what to do. For the first time, there was no one there to tell me. I was scared. So I hid. I'm done. We got everything. I'm gonna wait for a second and see if anything happens. I wonder what's gonna happen to this guy. Like, is he gonna self-destruct? Can I do anything else? What, what did his model end up being, out of curiosity? We saw it earlier, but now I don't remember what it was. Hmm. It, it, it's not, whatever it is, it's not our A9. That's the important thing. It's a 400 something. Yeah, HK 400. Yeah, HK 47. Okay. All right, let's go. Leave me alone. Don't touch me. Oh shit. What the fuck are you doing? Interview. You shouldn't touch it. It'll self-destruct if it feels threatened. Stay out of this, got it? The fucking Andrew's gonna tell me what to do. Uh... You don't understand. If it self-destructs, we won't get anything out of it. I told you to shut your fucking mouth. Chris, you gonna move this asshole or what? I'm trying. I can't let you do that. Leave it alone now. I warned you, motherfucker. That's enough. Mind your own business, Hank. I said that's enough. Oh shit, Hank! What? You're not gonna get away with it this time. That was not expected. Damn. All right, we found an MVP. Everything is all right. It's over now. Nobody's gonna hurt you. Please, don't touch it. Let it follow you out of the room, and it won't cause any trouble. The truth is inside. Oh, 
Okay, that seemed really important. That just said R9 at the top, and then instability on the bottom. Android Trust Connor. Dude, I really like how this playthrough is going so far. This is cool. This is real cool. How'd everyone else do? Wow, 36%. Only a third of us got the Android to trust Connor. And then just under half sent him back to his cell. There were four possible endings to that situation. Let's take a look at our friends. Oh, friends are very similar. Friends are very similar to world. Cool. This is like a really, really, really good Telltale game. <laughs> this is like so much better than a normal Telltale game. It's like Telltale times 10. Oh man. Yeah, yeah, this is like what happens when you take, take a Telltale and make it triple A, essentially, yeah. That, I, I would agree with that. That's what Kat's saying right now. I would agree with that. Also, this is making me realize I really need to play Heavy All Rain. Right. Maybe we'll do End that soon. Line. Enter the line. Yeah, you're gonna have to leave. Wake up. Yeah, where are we gonna go? We have to go? You killed her dad. What now? Any other place we could spend the night? I have no idea. She's gonna have to leave. <laughs> Funny. We'll find somewhere to spend the night. Oh, poor girl. He's like shivering. Come on, Alice. We've got to hurry. Turn to Alice. Wait, what? Um. Oh, do I have to use the bus stop? Alice, you're freezing cold. I'm okay. I'm not so cold. You look lost. We have nowhere to go. I know someone who can help you. But that's on the other side of town. We need a place for tonight. Door is still open. Maybe we should go inside. At least you'll be out of the cold. Okay, convince cashier to help. So before we do that, um, 
Uh, okay, it doesn't look like there's going to be a lot here to help us. Let's talk to this guy. What do you want? I'm with a little girl, and we have nowhere to go. Could you spare some money so we can get a room for tonight? Shit. A homeless android? Ah, that's the best yet. Look, this is a convenience store, not the Salvation Army, okay? You better go if you're not gonna buy anything. Hmm. Oh my god, I can use the gun? No. No. I'm not okay with that. Oh, well, we could knock that over and steal, though. Hmm. Yeah. There's a security camera. Is that what those are? Oh, it would see me stealing. Um, oh god, I don't want to know what that is. Now, do we have to do... No. Yeah, I... Uh, I don't feel good about that. Can I go anywhere else? I'm not over here. We're gonna see what our options are before we start robbing people. This doesn't seem like the best idea either, however. Um, okay. An abandoned house. At least we'd be out of the rain. Kara, I don't like this place. I know. But it's just for one night and no one will look for us here. Find wire cutter. So we would have to shoplift. Hmm. It looks abandoned. <laughs> We'd have to break the window. Man, they really are making. We gotta do something wrong here. I mean, that could set off an alarm for all we know. Um. Wire cutters. Maybe? Right there? Okay. I think we're gonna sleep in the abandoned house. The only thing I'm worried about is if some homeless guy tries to do something bad. We'll see. Yeah, the broken car could have an alarm too. That's true. Just a scratch. Be careful. Oh, they're going to be able to track that blood, maybe. That could be important later. Don't worry, we're just having a look. Unless, is she not bleeding? Maybe she's not bleeding. Eh, never mind, it looks fine. <laughs> 